Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome again to Real Talk. Um, this week's topic, we're going to be talking about lifestyle diet versus contest prep. So, usually when people hear that you're going on a diet, they automatically assume it has to be um, extreme, like everything must be dialed in. However, there are two different things, right? So, a contest prep is usually when everything should be down the T. Everything should be on point because you want to bring your best package to date whenever you compete. So pretty much you wanna limit all the variables, you wanna make it as solid as possible. You wanna be as strict as possible, right? Because you don't wanna like diet like two days out of a week. I mean, you can, and you can step on stage like that. However, um, when you're, whenever you step on stage, you're pretty much exposed. Like you're, the hard work you put in, you start seeing the lagging parts, what you can do to improve when you're on stage. However, for most of the majority of the people, gen pop, general um, general population, I suggest a um, a more less restrictive um, approach, which is a lifestyle diet. So a lifestyle diet is not necessarily just me eating organic food or necessarily you eating um, leaner food, because at the end of the day, eating a lot of lean food and a lot of organic food is still putting yourself in a surplus of calories. So you want to make sure that a lifestyle diet is you're still holding yourself accountable. You're still being consistent with dieting. However, it's not to the T. So for example, like um, if you track four days, five days out of a week, for the weekend, you can eat leaner throughout the day, like the mornings, less carbs, less fats, just egg whites, protein, or like a light salad chicken salad and at nighttime if you want to go out and enjoy a square meal with your friends and family that's okay because um will your weight spike up yeah it will however once you get back on being consistent again for the next five days you will regulate back and um i feel like this is more um sustainable for a lot of the people because this way at the end of the day not everybody's going to be competing and not everybody wants to train like a bodybuilder, right? Some people just want to tighten up a little bit. Some people don't want to lift weights, which is cool too. Um, You can also find a different output of energy source. So like running, any outdoor activity. So it, you don't always have to just work out in the gym to get in shape or to lose weight. So um, lifestyle diet. If you're, not con if you're not a competitor, I really suggest it because down the long run, it will really help you out a lot. You know, it's much more sustainable. You have a better balance of life. Um, you can actually go out a weekend or a meal or throughout the week and have a meal and not feel like you threw your diet out the window. Um, however, it is more important to track more consistently throughout the week. And also you can track within a range. So as a bodybuilder, being in a competitive season, contest prep, you want to nail everything to the T. But as a lifestyle dieter, you can hit just you can give yourself some wiggle room so like some range so for example um instead of hitting 50 fats only you can hit f anywhere between from 50 to, f to 60 fats anywhere from 200 carbs to 250 carbs so that's within the range that um th that's just an example um does that mean those numbers are going to work for you no it doesn't because everybody's different right everybody's caloric maintenance is different everybody's metabolism is different so um Please just make sure before you start adding calories or even taking calories out, um, talk to somebody that really knows what your main maintenance is like so that way you don't really mess up your metabolism or otherwise it's just, it's kind of hard, you know, but um, this is it for this week's video. Thank you for watching and please tune in for next week's video. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys like the video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.